morning, everyone. Welcome to a new week. Welcome to Monday, the 8th of November, the 32nd week in ordinary time. This morning, we will continue reading Luke's Gospel and we'll be reading chapter 17, verses 1 to 6. Let us start our Gospel and reflection with the sign of the cross. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Remembering that God is always with us. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus said to his disciples, Obstacles are sure to come, but alas for the one who provides them. It would be better for him to be thrown into the sea with a millstone put round his neck than that he should lead astray a single one of these little ones. Watch yourselves. If your brother does something wrong, reprove him. And if he is sorry, forgive him. And if he wrongs you seven times a day, and seven times come back, comes back to you and says, I am sorry, you must forgive him. The apostles said to the Lord, increase our faith. The Lord replied, were your faith the size of a mustard seed, you could say to this mulberry tree, be uprooted and planted in the sea and it would obey you. The gospel of the Lord. The news we hear often seems full of shocking and cruel stories. We wonder how anyone can be so terrible sometimes, so inhuman what we hear. We hear about crimes that sometimes revolt us. Most of the time, children are hurt. Elderly people can be defrauded or crowds of people being attacked. If we were not shocked from time to time, it would mean that we, we were desensitised to sin and evil. Today, Jesus warns us of such things. Obstacles are sure to come, he says in today's gospel. Obstacles is an unusual word, difficult to translate from the original Greek. It really means temptations to sin or scandals are sure to come. Jesus gives the example of a child being damaged. It is indeed shocking. And Jesus speaks of it being better to be drowned in the sea than to harm a child. But then he goes on to talk about forgiveness, for he has come to save us. No one falls beyond the mercy of God, and we are to offer mercy to others too. St. Francis wrote to his brothers, and this is what he said. There should be no brother in the whole world who has fallen into sin, no matter how far he has fallen, who will ever fail to find forgiveness for the asking. If only he look into your eyes. That's such a lovely expression. If only he will look into your eyes. The eyes are so often the window to our souls. If they look into our eyes, do people see forgiveness? I wonder what people see when they look into our eyes. I would truly hope that they saw love and forgiveness. I share this prayer. Father, your son came into the world to save sinners to convert us and bring us into your way of living. 
grant that as we are drawn to you by your eyes of love, so by our eyes too, we may reveal your tender mercy. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for joining me this morning and thank you for sharing the gospel reflections with me. I hope that you have a lovely day. Bye for now.